Just to give you a time reference, uh, historians believe today, scholars believe today that the first Israeli nuclear weapons were available for use at the time of the Six-Day War in 1967. An important part of the Israeli program was an organization called LACM, which is a Hebrew acronym uh, for uh, a security organization. These people were charged with espionage around the world, mainly centered in the United States, to steal materials, components, and information about um, nuclear uh, weapons production capabilities. By 1964, the Oak Ridge National Laboratory people were learning that there was missing uranium, what they call inventory differences or material unaccounted for at the NUMEC facility in Apollo, Pennsylvania. The AEC did an independent audit, used the best people they could find, the best people from Oak Ridge, best people from the commission, best people from NUMEC, and they came up with 178 kilograms of missing highly enriched uranium. Of that 178, they found that 94 kilograms could no way be accounted for. So the inventory difference grew to 287 kilograms. For those of you who think in terms of pounds, that's about 600 pounds of missing highly enriched uranium. Think 10 to 20 pounds to make um, an atom bomb. There was no FBI investigation of the theft, the alleged diversion in 1965 or 66. The AEC under Dr. Seaborg said that they didn't think it had been stolen. They didn't know where it went for sure, but it didn't think it had been stolen. Uh, if you look at the records of their discussions, the commission discussions with their staff, there's no discussion whatsoever of uh, Dr. Shapiro's association with Israel. Uh, Dr. Shapiro was um, a Zionist. He was an, a national officer in the Zionist Organization of America. He was an awardee of uh, the ZOA. Um, he told both the FBI and the AEC when they uh, took, uh, had hearings with him that, that he wanted to immigrate to Israel. Finally, in a wiretap, uh, the FBI picked up uh, his admission that the Israelis told him he was more valuable to them here than he was there. Uh, Israel had no capability to enrich uranium. What we know today is that they were able to put a signature on that highly enriched uranium that proved that it came from the United States, that it came from the Naval Nuclear Program because the fuel for Navy fuel for Navy reactors was 97.7% enriched. There are lots of implications of this business of a policy nature. Um, my conclusion is the, the, the material went there. Whether Shapiro was actually present when it happened, it's hard to prove. They tell me about arson. If you don't see the match held to the flame, it's hard to make an arson conviction. I think it, the Justice Department had the same trouble here. The only solution to these nuclear weapons things is nuclear disarmament. It's probably a 100-year process. We ought to start today.